Good morning to everyone, whoever is watching this. Uh, my name is Alex Pimentel. I'm the creator, director, editor, producer, videographer of this video, of this documentary. And what this documentary is about is how art is so important to the world. And I went around my university's campus and I decided to ask all of my art major friends why art is so important to the world and how would the world be if there wasn't any art and there how the, the many different forms of it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's called Art. is a way of expressing yourself and it's creative and you have to just kind of let yourself go when you do it and it has so much to do with our culture and with other cultures that people take it and use it to just express things through that, through their culture and about their culture. Well, with music and art and anything artsy in general, it's therapeutic. It helps everybody when it comes to times of big stress or big any emotions at all. You can use it to take whatever you're feeling and make it into something beautiful regardless of what you're feeling. So even if you're mad, you make you make something with it and it's still beautiful in the end. So it's just something that has a positive impact regardless of how you approach it. I think music is important to the world because it's it's a very, very unique form of like storytelling and kind of an interesting way to, to fuse different arts. It's like poetry and, and music and like instrumental. And uh, in lyrical music to kind of get your message out to the world. And, and the, you know, you do that, you can do that without words too. Uh, that's the beauty of music is that you can, you can put emotions into songs with just the instruments themselves. And then you can add words on top of that. And I think that expression like that kind of like brings color into what be like a great world. I personally think that it's important because it's life capture. So for us, when we want to look back at our trip, we made the video, it's cool for other people to see, but good vloggers do it for themselves. And they just do the story so they can actually remember it. And like you can look back at every little event that you forget from especially trips like that. and the small things that happen that are so funny or like ridiculous or crazy. Mm -hmm. You have that on film and you can see your younger selves, you can show it to your family, your kids. It's a really good way of communicating and telling a story without over-exaggerating or under-exaggerating. It's like a scrapbook, but like way better. Yeah, way better. It captures all the little parts. I think vlogging is important too as a whole. Just like what's new and interesting about it is the fact that like daily vloggers like PC and I stand, like all the big guys are just like literally just like superstars now and then you have little niches so like for us we like backpacking so like I watched a guy who did a bunch of trips and travel trips and he, all he did was motorcycle that was like his little niche and then I also watched this girl this Canadian girl who did travel vlogs and she did like food and solo travel so it's just like vlogging school because you can find people that have like the same exact interests as you and then just learn and just watch in like a super short and easy way. Super real too. Yeah. Because you just be yourself. It's not like acting. You know like summer mix videos where they're like jumping off cliffs and stuff. You yeah. don't see that. You see like, oh crap, I don't have shoes anymore. And we're in a train station at 3 in the morning. And it's really dangerous. That stuff. It's like fun. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, dance has been around forever. And without dance, like I know that we dance like ballet and everything, but it is also a source of entertainment, and if there was no dance, we wouldn't have stuff like prom, or homecomings, and stuff, or social movements. Uh, to the world, well, from my own experience, I struggled with a lot of stuff in middle school, and when I look back at how it was able to help me, I think it's really important to the world because it can serve as that same release for a lot of other people. Being able to dance at PBA 
is a blessing because we I'm learning how to expand and grow here through dance. I'm learning how to better my technique, how to grow as an artist, as a performer, as a teacher. Um, there's just so many things I'm learning that I am so grateful to learn here with great professors and a great department. Well, it's brought people who have similar interests towards me and I can work with them and exchange ideas and exchange skills and abilities. Uh, it's let me, it's opened me up to a whole new location where I can basically make it my playground. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm not a very good public speaker at all, actually. Like if I was speaking in front of a bunch of people right now, I'd probably be freaking out. But um, dance just allows me, I love performing on stage, so it allows me to do that, but also allows me to show my creativity and my personality and tell people a story without having to actually use my voice or sing or whatever. And so I just think it's very different from what other artists do and it's, it takes a lot of work and I just, I like how hard it is and I just, yeah. Um, I feel like you can never stop growing. Like you can never reach a point in dance where that's it, like you're the best. Like there's, you can't. So I think dance is definitely um, an expression. It's not explanatory. Like you don't have to explain what you're doing. Like someone out there will get it. Um. Meeting new people. For music, it's just meeting people who have similar mindsets and ideas because you guys can make something together. And photography, it's an easy way to talk to the ladies. So I got a easy way to get their number, you know, take pictures of pretty girls. It's just nice. My favorite part about dance, um, I think it's a way to worship. You can use your body as an instrument. God says our, body are, our bodies are temples. So it's a way to worship that's not necessarily through singing or through music, which are so important too and I love them. But it's just a unique way to worship right now. It's not the most popular, but I hope to increase its popularity through that. The fact that it's so powerful, the fact that it's like, it's incredibly unique. It's so different. I guess I guess that you could say that about every art form. For example, like painting is different. Sketching is something. And then no two arts are really like each other. And music is is. I mean, obviously there's lyrics, but it's like poetry without words. Um, and the, the fact that the fact that you can hear it and it, it it'll change you. Like you feel it inside you. And it's so, it's not just somebody playing an instrument. It's somebody playing an instrument and then what comes out of that instrument is like, it's, it's touching your heart. It, it, it really hits you on the inside as a person. I think that's a pretty universal thing. People who say they don't listen to music, I don't understand that. But yeah, that's my favorite thing about music. Bloopers. Fact. Bloopers. <laughs> Man. Oh my gosh, like, it's so funny having like those awesome memories and like it's super, super sick to be able to just like rewatch like some certain days that were like our favorite, like certain places that were our favorite. And then you just look up like, it's so funny. you just like, as you're like sit editing and sifting through all the video, like you take a lot of junk footage when you vlog just because you want like loads of content that you can just work with. So we would have like each other, like there were some points in that trip where we felt like <laughs> Sims, like when every bar was just on red, like food red, sleep red, drink red, nothing, energy red. Dying. Like, like I literally like going like from like Paris to Western France, I was literally like my hair was like shiny from grease, and literally like like about to like die. And I was zooming in on the train. I was zooming like, in on this piece. And he just like video that recorded video. Like, There's so many be. funny things about that. Like, like sleeping on a step in Paris and a homeless yeah. guy just comes around and starts dancing. And Chad's yeah, like, like ready to fight him. So, <laughs> it's just the small stuff that's... Just all the, the stories you tell, you know? Like the stories you tell to other travelers and when you're in like telling your kids and stuff.